Hi, it's Dwyer. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is November the 3rd, 2021. Let's talk about logistics. What I expect to happen angles-wise. In this upcoming fight between Canelo and Caleb Plant. But remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now I expect Caleb Plant, and it's a bit counterintuitive, to circle to Canelo's right hand. I know that Canelo is right-handed. I know some of you are going to say you got to be kidding. Why would he circle toward Canelo's dominant hand? It's because, in my opinion, Canelo's dominant hand doesn't have Canelo's dominant punch. I believe Canelo's best punch, and hey, it's one man's opinion, but it's what I'm going on, right? You go on your observations. I believe Canelo's best punch is his left hook, right? So I believe Caleb Plant, who has a pretty good upper body. He can move it. I believe Khaled Plant has to take a chance here. I believe going toward Canelo's left hand is too risky because Canelo can throw that hook wide. It's hard to get outside of Canelo's left hook. It's not as hard to get outside of Canelo's straight right hand. Right, but let's talk about something more foundational. As Caleb Plant goes toward Canelo's right hand, and just read the movement early in the fight, just understand that Caleb Plant's best punch is his left hook. So if Canelo throws that straight right hand and misses with it, Caleb Plant is going to have an excellent opportunity to land that left hook. Let's remember that Caleb Plant drops Jose Uscatege twice early in their fight because Caleb Plant has sudden hand speed and that left hook is far better than advertised. So if Caleb Plant is thinking about the best countering opportunity that he could possibly have. It'll come from him moving toward Canelo's dominant hand. You want Canelo throwing right hands, not left hands. Right? Think it through too. Let's say Canelo is throwing a left jab. The way to dodge that is to go to the right of it. Because if you go to the left of it, then Canelo's going to look like he's throwing a jab. He's going to instead throw a left hook. You don't need to engage in that mental chess game if you're already on Canelo's right side. Let's talk about a point many of you have made to me. I've pointed out that if Canelo is forced to chase Caleb Plant, to try to find him. He's going to spend energy doing so. And that's going to tire him out because Canelo, in my opinion, gets tired in fights. So, YouTube Nation has responded and many of you have commented that Caleb Plant gets tired in fights. I agree. So here's what I want people to consider because this is the mistake Kovalev made. Right? I really feel Kovalev could have won that fight. In the early rounds, Kovalev just touches Canelo. He's not trying to hurt Canelo. I know Kovalev has a great jab and stuff like that. He's not loading up on the jab, in my opinion. I believe early in his fight against Canelo, he's just trying to win rounds, and I believe he does so. Right? Canelo has great defense. He's a shorter guy at 168. 
right? He's shorter here. When he was fighting at lower weight classes, he looked eye to eye with many of the opponents, Floyd, Miguel Cotto, etc. But up at 168, you'll notice that Rocky Fielding taller, Callum Smith taller, right? He's fighting guys who are taller than him. Billy Joe Saunders taller. Well, here, Caleb Plant is going to be taller. I believe the height gap is going to shock some people. So because Canelo has his head on a swivel, has his hands up, this is an underrated part of Canelo's game. He's very hard to find. If you spend your time trying to hit him hard while being right in front of him, you're going to have problems. Canelo knows he's hard to find. So Canelo is walking forward, figuring out that even an Avniel Durham, someone more his size, would be unable to get through his high hands and short neck with his anticipation skills. So what Caleb Plant has to do to win rounds and to conserve energy is to just touch Canelo not try to hurt him unless of course that left hand appears right if Caleb Plant has a shot at throwing his trademark left hook take it right he can drop fully conscious men folks again he drops Uskategay twice early in that fight but if you don't have the red carpet for your best punch what you want to do is to just touch Canelo and move. Don't spend a lot of energy loading up on punches. Just touch him and move. When Kovalev was doing that, I thought Kovalev was winning rounds. Look at the early part of that fight. Look at the first round of Kovalev-Canelo. Kovalev is just touching Canelo and pivoting. Right? He's not loading up. He's not trying to get through Canelo's defense. Later in the fight, when Kovalev started to get a little bit more comfortable, he starts sitting down on his punches more. I thought that was a mistake. If Caleb Plant is outboxing Canelo, continue to do so. Right? Win the rounds. I understand Canelo is a judge's favorite. Dare the public, dare the judges to take this away from you. Right? Conserve your energy. You don't have to change your strategy as long as you are winning rounds. Right? This is the difference in a heavyweight context between the first Tyson Fury fight, which I thought Tyson Fury dominated, apart from getting knocked down twice where Tyson Fury is just in there outboxing Deontay Wilder. Right? Tyson just wanted the title. Then we get to the second fight. Fury wants the knockout. Right? Third fight, Fury wants the knockout. Gone is all the dancing and outside stuff. Here, you're Caleb Plant, and you have the better legs than Canelo. Don't spend a lot of time trying to knock Canelo out early unless that left hook opportunity appears. In other words, Canelo throws a right hand, he misses it, he's naked, and you have your nuclear left hook ready. Right? If that doesn't appear, just hit him, just tap him, and move away. Right? You want to win this on the scorecards. At a minimum, if you don't stop him early, like you stop Mike Lee early, right? I know there are a group out there saying, how could he stop Canelo early, right? He stopped guys early. He has a better than 50% KO percentage. But if the knockout doesn't come, right, your goal is in the second half of the fight to have the world watching and thinking, well, whoa, who's really winning this fight? Right? Billy Joe Saunders was very much in his fight against Canelo but gave away too many of the early rounds. 
plant can't make that mistake. So if I'm plant, I'm just going toward Canelo's right. Have Canelo trying to time a straight right or a right hook, right? In my opinion, neither of those punches is as good as Canelo's left hook. Right? Neither of them. So I'm just going to Canelo's right. And I'm letting Canelo know, you missed this right hand player, you're in danger. I'm coming back with a left hook. You get sloppy, you might find yourself sloppy on the canvas. Let's talk too about the fact that a lot of Canelo's power comes from the outside. Right? His power with his left hand isn't a power jab. Canelo doesn't have a Virgil Ortiz jab. His power comes from the outside. It's a left hook. Right? You can take some of Canelo's jabs. You can't take his left hook. If I'm Caleb Plant, I'm prepared to block Canelo's shots coming from the outside. Right? Understand too, Canelo's left is hard to read. You don't know if it's coming up top or down low. But what you do know is that it's coming from outside. Let me say too that Canelo, a righty, is not going to throw straight rights to the body in my opinion. Right? If he does, then he's going to be open for shots because he'll be leaning over the pocket. Right? So, from the outside, those are the punches you need to guard against. Right? And if Canelo throws a straight right hand, you need to be ready to pivot for your own left hook. Now, Andre Ward is helping Plant prepare for this fight. You know, I'm all for technicians. Ward's a highly technical guy. You know, helping out the younger generation. Also understand, Ward for years had a shoulder injury. Insiders know this. And so Ward had to learn to fight with his off hand. So if anybody appreciates having to make decisions on which way to go, Right? What punches to force the other guy or to dare the other guy to throw? It's Andre Ward. Now let me just say this though. People need to understand there is a difference between Ward and Plant and it's profound. Andre Ward was a master on the inside. I want you to look at one of three fights. Edison Miranda where Ward gets bored being outside, comes inside on him. Miranda, hellacious puncher. Right? Ward against Kessler. Ward comes inside so much, Kessler claims he's being head-butted. Right? And of course, Ward Kovalev, the rematch. Right? Ward hurts Kovalev from the outside then gets inside on Kovalev and is bouncing in the pocket, riddling Kovalev with, we'll say, borderline low punches. Now let me just point out that it's too late in the game right now for Khaled Plant to try to learn those skills. Right? Plant's in his late 20s. The time to try out new skills is when you're fighting opponents who aren't sure fire first ballot Hall of Famers. Right? The experiments against Canelo have to be limited. Right? Caleb Plant can't decide against this fighter, who, of course, himself, if he gets inside and gets a shot on your body, as Liam Smith, Callum's brother, knows can take you out just b with body shots. If I'm if I'm Caleb Plant, 
If Andre Ward starts saying, hey, player, you want to get inside, you want to dig to his body, at that point, I'm going to say, hey, hey, Andre, I know you retired unbeaten. <laughs> I know you're a surefire first ballot Hall of Famer, <laughs> right? but that's not my game. And against this level of two-handed punching power, against a guy who's already shorter than me, it's easier for Canelo to go to Caleb Plant's body than it is Caleb Plant to go to Canelo's body. You know, if I'm Caleb Plant, I say, hey, Andre, let's work on the other skills. I can't match you deep in the pocket, going to the body, roughing up the guy on the inside. In fact, if I'm Caleb Plant, I realize I need to lean forward. I can't have Canelo land any body shots. If Canelo lands three body shots, those are three too many. Right? Caleb Plant has to keep this fight outside. He can't be Andre Ward against Mikel Kessler. He just can't. He has to keep this fight outside. He has to be moving to Canelo's right hand. I know it's counterintuitive. He needs to move away from Canelo's left hook. That's the punch he needs to make sure Canelo does not land. He needs to move away from Canelo's left hook. He needs to dare Canelo to throw a straight right hand up top, and he needs to be ready to counter it with a left hook. That's how I see it. I think the fight is riveting. I do think... Caleb Plant has a path to success. If I'm Caleb Plant too, the Billy Joe Saunders fight, I skip the first few rounds. Right? Maybe I watch them to figure out what not to do. Saunders, a southpaw, had an excellent shot, in my opinion, on beating Canelo. Right? Saunders wanted to prove to the world that he could box Canelo in the pocket. If I'm Caleb Plant, I don't allow a pocket to form. Right? Not only that, if I'm Caleb Plant, I try to keep this fight in the middle of the ring. I heard Timothy Bradley, another guy who is great on the inside. You might remember Timothy Bradley against Devin Alexander. Right? Where Alexander needed room to operate and Bradley smothered him. Right? And Bradley talked about how he was happy to hear that Andre Ward was working with Caleb Plant, as am I. Right? Ward is one of the best ever at 168. Right? And Timothy Bradley, search for the video, talks about how he's noticed Plant making mistakes later in fights getting hit with right hands, being up on the ropes. Well, if I'm Plant, I try to stay away from the ropes here. right? But I would rather Canelo hit me with right hands than his left hook. What I want people to do, too, is to look at the last sequence of Canelo against Kovalev. Folks, it's the left hook. That starts the sequence. Right? If I'm plant, I have to pick my poison. Right? I'd rather get hit with Canelo's right hand. I don't care if Canelo is a righty. Then his left hook. And of course, if it's not my dynamite left hook, I'm just trying to touch Canelo. Right, set it up where the public knows, hey, look, I'm able to hit this guy. I'm not trying to hurt him early. I'm prioritizing hand speed over power punching. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. If you have another scenario on how this fight plays out, I hope you leave that scenario in the comment section of this video. Also, don't be afraid to link to other boxing videos in the comment section of this video if you feel there's an opinion out there that subscribers need to hear. Okay, I understand I sound like I'm in left field saying that a guy who's a plus 550 underdog 
has a chance against one of the best fighters of our time. But understand this is boxing. And even today, styles make fights. Thanks for stopping by.